हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो फर्स्टली दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव सीन थ्री मंथ्स बैक एक्सैक्टली इन वन ऑफ द लाइव स्ट्रीम्स जस्ट राइट डाउन द क्वेश्चन नेम एंड फॉर श्योर एवरी क्वेश्चन नेम जस्ट आर एन मित्तल यू विल गेट दिस वॉज द क्वेश्चन वी डिस्कस इन द लाइव स्ट्रीम बाई वी की कॉन्टेस्ट वन ओ फाइव जस्ट थ्री मंथ्स बैक सो इफ यू हैड वॉच इट just try it by yourself if not then let's have a quick look it's a easy very easy problem if you had been watching our videos any videos of dp recursion you should be able to solve it cool uh, extra characters in a string you are having a zero to uh, strings s in a dictionary words called as a dictionary now uh, you have to break s into one or more non overlapping substrings which means that if i have let's say a r y a n now i have to break this a r y a n into one or more overlapping substrings how that okay it should be a r y and a n it can't be a r y y a n you know a r y y n both are overlapping substrings that's the reason you cannot break it like this cool um now that each substring is present in a dictionary now you have an vector of strings which is called as a dictionary in which you have some strings let's say this 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 now these strings should be present in the main string which is s and again that as a substring and also or non overlapping cool uh then uh i it can have some extra characters in s which means which are okay i have just placed all the non overlapping ones still some characters are left so that characters extra characters are there which are not present in any of the substrings cool written the minimum number of extra characters left if you break s optimally now you have to break s optimally such that the characters left should be as minimum as possible let's have the first example lead see there is highly a chance that your examples will itself help you to solve it that was what going to happen and what all is happening now if i have this lead as code now one thing is i just choose lead which is present here i just choose code which is present here so for sure i have got two substrings which are non overlapping and also i have just one Character remaining. That's S. So okay, it is the one character which I will remove to get the such a string that it has all the non-overlapping substrings present in the dictionary. What if I had chosen anything else? Let's say lead code. It is not even there. So for sure, I would have so many characters to delete. So it's just we will try it. Okay, I now very 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 normal. If I have lead S code. now i don't know by myself like what's going to happen and what's going what's not so what i will do is i will cool i will simply try okay let's imagine this l is in dictionary okay not l e is in dictionary l e t is in dictionary l e t s is in dictionary and so on and so forth i will just assume okay i'll just start off with this character and i'll assume okay it's in dictionary so at a point of time i will assume okay it is in the dictionary lead is in dictionary or maybe lead s is in dictionary then i will just get okay Hey bro, um, recursion. Can you please bring me what would be the minimum number of characters removal in the later part of the string? What what it means is, let's say if I just assumed, uh, bro, this let's say assume is in my dictionary, or like if it is not, then okay, it's a it's a string which I am assuming right now. I will take this as a string, and the remaining part I will ask. Just bro, let me know what is the remaining part. Uh, what's the minimum of characters removal required? so it is in the dictionary so it just gave me okay cool bro uh, you know you need not to remove anything so operation for this is actually a zero but uh, what if it was not even there so operation would have been four for it which means you will remove all the four characters cool now when you will ask recursion for this again recursion will go and say start off with this s c o d e again assuming it is in the in the dictionary cool and then finding answer for this or maybe s c is in dictionary S S C O in dictionary, S C O D in in the in dictionary, S C O D in dictionary, and so on and so forth. So basically, assuming at a point of time, this X Y Z is in dictionary, or if not, if it is in the in the dictionary, the operation required would be zero. If it is not, then the operation required would be number of strings. That's it. Operation as in remove the characters. Now remaining part, I will go and ask recursion itself, bro. Go and find the minimum of characters removal if your string is now this. so i just made a string smaller so as to find the answer easier why string smaller because smaller string will be you will be able to find in the dictionary itself and if it is not there so for sure if it is not there so operation required will be 3 for it and go and find for it 
so i will just go and try for the every character which means from here 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 and then the remaining part as i showed you will be from the recursion itself so now we have got to know that okay what we're going to try out and what's going to happen so by now you should be able to know that what's happening and what's going to happen in the future but still for you guys uh, as we saw that okay we can start off with as you're starting off so we will start off with every of these which means we will have this now remaining part from recursion or 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 we can have this remaining part from recursion or we can have this remaining part from recursion or we can have this remaining part from recursion and with this i'm gonna find the answer considering every so i will just try for every substring and i will just go and say okay if this substring i will start off with then what is the number of operations required and so on and so forth so here also required okay cool then i go and find the recursion answer for this then again it may be required again recursion answer for this then maybe again this is required and recursion answer for this so it will just keep on going which means although i just showed you a big range but it will try for when i say recursion part of this so it will start off it will just start off for, start off first with this then next with this then next with this then next with this and so on and so forth so to try on all, all the possibilities we are using recursion but we also saw one thing that what if we start off with this lead so recursion part is this but then recursion part is this then again if i start off with s then recursion part is code what if i start with lead s then the recursion part is code itself so you know recursion part code recursion part code it's a repeating sub problem so we also know that okay we have an overlapping sub problem so please use also dp so that you just memoize it stuff you know you have to use recursion because you can't just manually do and try everything out so you can just use a dp to actually memoize it so now exactly you know what's going to happen let's have a small um, logic what's go how we're going to write it so that we actually code it down now simply as we'll start off with the first index but as i showed you i will go on i will have a loop let's say saying current index because at any recursive state i will have let's say I, let's say after the recursion my new recursion shall start from this which is let's say it is a new index let me have a pink pen so if it is a new index which is let's say idx so again for this the idx is this which means the starting point is this so i can just go on say current index is this 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 okay pointing to okay it is now the current index so so as to not get the string again and again i can use the indexing part to actually go and start the string from that index itself so index is saying okay my new string my right now string my start will from idx and as we showed that okay if i have a string as lead so i will i need a le l l e l e l e t so if i have my ind idx and my current index is moving forward so i just need the string from idx to current index so one way to get this string is either use a substring function from idx to current idx but it can be costly so and i also know that i need every string which means i need l i need le i need lee i need let -E so one thing i can do is i can initialize my empty string and then i can keep on pushing the characters at current index so when the current index is at this location let's name it as c the the current index so it will just push in l then it will come here then it will firstly it will evaluate and then it will push in e then it will come here it will evaluate firstly it would have been evaluated l e now when it was at the next e so it will just push in this new e so your your entire string is being made as your current index is moving so you don't have to use the substring function again and again that's one of the optimization which you can apply in your code although if you don't apply still still it will work because the constraints are pretty less again uh, coming on back we used the index and current index function to actually move on your current index index is okay i am starting from this point current index saying okay i'll go 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 up till a point such that okay i reach a point now I'm just saying, okay, I will evaluate the string and remaining part of the string, it will be evaluated by recursion. But I know I want to evaluate every string, which means I will evaluate L, L, E, L, E, T, and so on and so forth. So I will just start from current index up till I have my string left, which means I'll go up till the very end of the string. Yes. Now, I've, as I showed you, I will get the current string, which I want to evaluate. Okay, I'll get the current string. Again, I showed you there are two ways, either use the substring function, or either use a substring function or make the string on runtime as i showed you like push back the characters push back the characters and keep on making the string now when you have this current string 
again your main answer is what is the operation required for this current string which means either this string l e t s if it is in the, in the dictionary okay cool operation required is zero but if it is not in the dictionary then operation required are five one two three four five right so i'll just go and say bro if this string this current string if it is in the map then the answer is zero operation required is zero but if it is not then it is operation required it's its whole size and then i go and ask recursion hey bro can you please give me the answer starting from current index plus one because up till the current index i've evaluated my actual answer so can you please give me the answer from current index plus one and i will repeat the same process for every of the current index from index up till the very end so that i will get okay l as one of these strings now evaluate the like get the recursion to get the answer for from e now l e as one of these strings recursion answer from e l e e answer from c uh, l e t answer from s it will as now it will keep on moving from here itself when the recursion will start again s as one of the strings recursion answer from code then again uh, when let's say it ends here um, so again starting from this c o d e c o d e uh, c o d e c o d e and empty now as soon as it reaches empty you know the base case if your index has reach the s dot size simply return the zero because operation required a zero as it has reached the end so that is how you can just easily get this by recursion cool and so here i call the recursion from the next index onwards because i want to find the answer from next index onwards and for sure i am repeating the same process count for every of those uh, current indexes so i will just keep on updating my answer with the minimum because i want the minimum number of operation minimum number of deletions or minimum number of things which i have to remove to actually as you saw the minimum number minimum number of extra characters which i have to remove right so simply uh, i'll just keep updating my answer with the minimum of answer and the count which i'm getting above as i'm grabbing every of these substrings cool and for sure we are using a dp so we go on to every indexes as we saw indexes so we know we have the answer simply use a simple memorization technique and simple assign this dp of index to that value and you are good to go we'll quickly see the code we will see the time which also but yeah you know for sure that okay i am going on to every index for every index starting from every index starting from every index i'll go on to every of those substrings starting from that index itself and that i'll repeat for every of the indexes so every index which means o of n and for every index i'm going on to every substring right from that index itself so just o of n again for that particular index so it's nothing but o of n square now again uh, space will be o of n as i'm using the indexing array but also i'm using math and stuff so the s is okay for every uh, string what is the length of that string so s is the, like, the size of that string at itself cool code it's pretty 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 simple um and see again it's a problem number two of uh, bi-weekly contest if i remember correctly so you know that it's an easy one uh now initialize the dp simply uh, having the map because we need to get our access faster because we need to know if that string is in my dictionary as fast as possible so we are using an ordered map to actually store okay uh, get that okay if it is in my dictionary in o of one time now i will just iterate on my dictionary and get that in my map so as to know if that particular string in the dictionary is there itself or not now i will just go and ask to solve my recursion i pass in my string map dp starting from the index zero because the only thing which i want is this particular idx which is the index i'm starting off with now as i showed you the base case if my index has reached a pretty end so simply return on zero because you want the minimum number of deletions or minimum number of characters to remove and as you have reached the end so no characters to remove at all so simply return a zero a simple mem simple memoization uh if you have the minus one not like if it is not equal to minus one simply return that value now the main part as i showed you above also i will have the current string as empty because i will just keep on as i am having current index current, in, current index which means i am moving on to my current indexes i will just keep on pushing that particular character of that current index into my string current string so that to build my current string incrementally okay my current string is being built for that current string if i have that current string now rest part is, is, is the recursion i have the current string rest part will be recursion so i will just go and find firstly if that thing if that thing if the current string i am taking okay if it is in my if it is in my map 
simply get the answer as zero else get the answer as the size of, the, of that string and for sure the remaining part which means starting from index plus one i will get the answer from recursion itself so this is will be the entire count which will be there if i use this current string as the string and the remaining part from recursion itself and i will go on and do it for every of the current strings starting from the current starting from the index onwards right uh, for that i will get the count and this count will get will keep on updating the answer answer i initialize with the maximum value which is the s dot size right and it will keep on reading the answer and getting the minimum answer ultimately i will just update and i need to return the minimum answer starting from the index that index itself right so i'll just update for that index what's the minimum answer and that is the answer itself with this you will just get it solved i hope that you guys got it code is on below so you're not ready bye bye